Today, the Challenger Learning Center of Maine announced plans to install new state-of-the-art simulation equipment. It is being made possible through more than $2, billion, $2 million in federal funding from NASA. News from Maine's Brianna Bush shows us how that center hopes to inspire the next generation of leaders in STEM. I'm so excited to allow a new generation of students to come in and have those same experiences that I had. Caitlin Ronan was 10 years old when she first stepped foot inside of the Challenger Learning Center of Maine. Which uh, catapulted a lifelong passion for learning. Now, 20 years later, she serves as a board member and chair of the fundraising committee, helping to create those same experiences for students. Science, technology, engineering, and math programs are not available in all schools. And this program that we have here at the Challenger Learning Center allows students to get that interest very, very young. Announced Tuesday, a more than $2 million federal grant from NASA will allow the center to provide even more learning opportunities for students. The funding will go towards making key upgrades, including NASA-like simulations for its mission control, spacecraft, and transport rooms. They have STEM self-efficacy in their experience while they're here. They get to try and we can say, you did it, and you did it well, and you can do this. In addition to the upgrades, the center announced it's launching Dreams Campaign to fundraise another $1.5 million, which will provide scholarships for students in underserved communities and serve more students, schools, and families with state-of-the-art facilities. As the center celebrates its 20-year anniversary, they hope to encourage students to explore careers in STEM, something they say the state will need in years to come. It's so powerful to be able to witness that happening, to see a student who otherwise hasn't had the opportunity to see themselves in that position. The center will begin construction to upgrade its simulation equipment starting this December with hopes to complete the transformation in March of 2025. In Bangor, Brianna Bush, New Center, Maine. And when that installation is complete, the organization will be one of only five challenger centers in the country to provide students with the latest simulator technology and equipment.